I'm Bruno Taco, the All Hall of Fame boot hockey goalie. The early days were there's just a group of like uh, six teams, you know, little guys. You know, we'd all go out to the rink and uh, we started this boot hockey. I was originally a forward, which I should have probably played, but uh, I just was thrown in the goalie. Ended up playing there, and I ended up playing really well. So I ended up being a goalie for the rest of the time I played boot hockey. Every every shooter feared Bruno Taco. I mean, you, you literally had to, to mentally prepare yourself going up against Bruno Taco. Oh, the most memorable game was the 1984 championship series. It was uh, a real warm day. That was the water bowl, if I remember right. It was real warm. I think it was around, uh, oh, I'd say 50. It was very dangerous, you know, water, standing water. Really, really bad place to be hosting a championship game. Uh, we were going up against Bruno Taco, one of the most feared goalies in the in the league. Um, anytime going up against Bruno, you literally had to prepare yourself mentally for that. Um, not so much myself, mostly my teammates and other players. I fear nobody. It's probably my most memorable game. I, I remember being in there. I scored a goal, which was phenomenal. I mean, goalies, it's unheard of for goalies to leave the net with a goalie stick and go down and and uh, score a goal. That game went into sudden death o overtime, uh, which you probably know, they, they, at that point they switched to a puck. To up the ante, we have to use a real real puck, which right. this is my first overtime game. I never gave up so many goals, but this is my first overtime game. It was pretty frightening, pretty frightening. I, I you know, tennis balls and pucks, you know, I, I could stop a tennis ball, no problem. But a puck, I've never even seen a puck playing boot hockey. But that's what they do. They, when you go in overtime, you have to play with a puck. Conditions, you know, the, the, the uh, dangers elevator right there. Um, basically, you know, if I remember correctly, uh, Ace Chicago came uh, running down the side. I think he blew past the uh, yeah. defenseman and just... Right, uh, just rifle the slap shot. Oh, Ace Chicago! What a what a heck of a slap shot that guy has. Uh, he he ended up uh, getting on a breakaway. I was uh, was coming down on a one on one, and uh, the defenseman literally cut off my angle. So I decided to just take the shot and wound up as hard as I could. And um, oh no! Oh my God! Ended up hitting the goaltender right in the face. Wound up and took the shot, and it was a blinding shot. I, um, oh I went and tried to put the blocker up. Oh hit me square right in the right eye. I was in the stands that game, witnessed it firsthand. Uh, the sight actually made me pretty queasy. Um, yeah, probably the, one of the most disturbing things I ever witnessed. I don't remember much. I know I was down on the ground, and um, and you know it's just. Uh, just a good, good thing that uh, your friends are always there to be by you when tragedies like this happen. I got, got shadows and all that. Can't really see too well. I had to give up the goalie. I, I guess I didn't know that I ended his career that day. Yeah. Do I feel bad about it? Not the least bit. Um, it, it, it's a shame. It's unfortunate, but uh, that's just part of the game. Uh, we ended up winning that game, and I learned that. Um, you know, with my friends there, it, it really was the best day of my life that we won that championship game. But ever since then, I'll be quite honest with you, it, it's been going downhill ever since. If he had the cojones, he would have stayed in that game. Doesn't matter if, if he lost both eyes, I don't care. That's how I play, okay? And look at us. I mean, we didn't even have equipment. You know, it's one of those, why, why would they even do that? I don't know. I, I still... I played with a nut cup that was undersized for 15 years, okay? The only protection I've ever had were these sunglasses. And I'm still here. I'm not dragging myself in the bar every day. I'm not losing my women. I am um, between jobs. I've just been looking all over the place. Times are tough right now. You know, they don't really have many jobs or opportunities for a goalie that has one eye. I have no idea what they had going on, but all I know is she just likes her sausage Chicago style. Uh, one fact that people will know about uh, Bruno Taco is that after his career-ending injury, he fathered an illegitimate son. Uh, 
I believe his name is uh, Sleeveless Sammy Handjob. It's actually Handjob. It's, it's tough, and um, I'm, I, I have nothing much more to say, but um, is that all right if I take this with me when I'm on my way out the door? Thank you very much. I met this guy, and uh, he said my dad was a, uh, a great boot hockey champion, but I, I thought he was a, a bukkake champion. I'm a Chicago bitch. <laughs>